Paran is executive secretary of PETA, an organization mm -hmm. that empowers ex tuberculosis patients to become treatment supporters, those who are still on treatment. Paran is also a member of Global Coalition of TB Activists. Uh, Paran, as you already know, our conversation is being live streamed on social media and public domain. And do we have, mm -hmm. your, do we have your consent for that? Uh, yeah, no, it's oh, okay. Thank you. We are very grateful to you for finding time for being with us here today. And I really salute your courage. So, uh, Paran, could you tell me something about yourself and your family? Uh, when were you first diagnosed with tuberculosis? Oh, okay. Um, so, uh, I have twice experience with tuberculosis. Mm -hmm. In 2008, I was diagnosed with drug TB sensitive. Mm -hmm. uh, at that time, I really didn't know what is TB is. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I have a symptoms like uh, coughing. It's very uh, hard to breathe, mm -hmm. and then. Um, exhausted all the time i lose my appetite but i because i don't know tb at that time so i think because i have an asthma also so it just like a symptoms of asthma or something so i go to the clinic uh at that time because i'm very uh i'm very tight in work mm -hmm. you were i cannot Mm -hmm. how, yeah. How, how old were you then, and at that? Uh, it's uh, it's about like twenty nine. Okay. Twenty nine years old. And you were working somewhere then. Uh yeah, I'm working in um Sanayan at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. And yeah, as a uh, field supervisor mm -hmm. of um uh, yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, because of uh, I cannot um like absent all the time in work so i go to the clinic private clinic hmm. so i tell all my symptoms to the doctor and the doctor said that okay let's check uh, a chest x-ray oh, okay just i'll interrupt here. which place was this this was not jakarta was it this was some other yeah hmm. yeah yeah this is in jakarta in Jakarta, okay, okay. Yeah, in Jakarta. At that time, uh, okay. it's about in 2008 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. for the first time, right, yeah. Right, right. Okay. And, uh, okay. mm -hmm. and then uh, I go to the doctor. The doctor asked me to uh, do the chest x-ray. Mm -hmm. And then the result was come and uh, he said just like, oh, there's a little bit problem with your lung. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, he not tell me specifically that uh, it was TB. Mm -hmm. And he was like described some um, res uh, medicine for me, inha and uh, in uh, yeah inha and in rifavirin, and then all was uh, some of um, uh, describe. Uh, uh, okay, just a minute. I have to remember it. Okay. Yeah, because it happened in two thousand and eight. Right. 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 Yeah, mm -hmm. and a few, a few, a few medicine that is crushed to be one, mm -hmm. but I don't know what is in it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then I have, uh, I have to take it every day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And for how, and then, for how long? Yeah. Did you, for how long did you take them? Six months or so? For how long? Did you uh, no, I have to take it like two years. Three years, and and you were. Two, Two years. Okay, and you were going to the doctor in between to get checked or tested or anything or no? You were seeing the doctor in between these three years? The same doctor? Uh, yeah, seeing the doctor, it's only like for um, consultation or something. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the doctor not telling me to to um, uh, to check the sputum. Okay, okay. He just asking me to check the um, x-ray. Mm. Chest X-ray only. Mm -hmm. So, so every time you were getting an X-ray, means you were getting an X-ray done. How often? When you were going? To... Uh, as long as I remember, it's only from the uh from the first time I I see the doctor, mm -hmm. and then the second one is like uh after I finish the treatment. Okay. Two years later. Mm -hmm. 
si uh, he was uh, telling me to X-ray again to see how uh, how is my lung is, mm -hmm. and then after two years, mm -hmm. I take all that medicine that he was described for me, mm -hmm. and based on only uh, X-ray, uh, he said that oh okay, uh, you can stop the medicine you already cured. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, why didn't you go to a uh, uh, government <laughs> hospital? Um, I'm just asking. I'm curious to know. Mm -hmm. You went to mm -hmm. a private clinic. Uh... Yeah. Uh, because at that time I was too busy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, working all day, mm -hmm. and um, uh, some of my neighbors said that mm -hmm. that clinic is very good clinic. There's a lot of people that cure in that. Uh, places from that place as so. well. Okay. Uh, and I don't have to see the doctor all the okay. time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I can just send like messages or something to the doctor, mm -hmm. and then the doctor will gonna prepare uh, the medicine for me. Mm -hmm. Because um, actually, uh, at that time, I don't have a lot of money at that time, mm -hmm. so I'm using my salary to see the doctor. Mm -hmm. And every time uh, I I see the doctor, I have to pay more than I just take my medicine. Mm -hmm. That's why I not all the time see the doctor. Mm -hmm. So the you are getting the medicine from the doctor only. The doctor was giving you the medicines. You you were not yeah. buying. Means he he must be buying it from the market, and you were paying for the medicine, taking it from the doctor. Is it? Yeah, I'm taking for from the doctor. Okay, okay. And then then what happened? Then you were okay. Then you felt okay after this. Yeah. Two minutes, yeah. After three years of treatment, you felt okay. Yeah, I I I felt okay because at that time, uh, I my weight is uh from let's say from forty mm -hmm. rise into forty three, mm -hmm. and then I I not um coffee and a lot of. Mm -hmm. Uh, before mm -hmm. and then I yeah I feel much much better actually I go uh, I can I can go to work again mm -hmm. Hmm. okay yeah and were you on leave from work for some time or no you were going to work or were you on did you take leave from work no uh, excuse me sorry I, I... Oh, no did did you take uh, time off from work like were you on uh, did you take it? no you were working no i can't yeah yeah i, I, I can't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i cannot take right. time for, right. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah then then what happened then afterwards sleep again okay mm -hmm. uh i'm uh, after the doctor said uh, i was cured mm -hmm. then i go back to work again uh i mean uh, without any absence for mm -hmm. seeing the doctor and extra and extra mm -hmm. And uh, it it come again the the symptoms. Mm. It's come up again um, in like um, one uh, one year after that. Mm. And I go to the same doctor. I decided to go to the same doctor because he knew all about my condition mm -hmm. before. Mm. So, um, I have, I have a lot of symptoms at that time uh, than before, like mm. coughing a lot of, and then I also like, uh, hard to breathe also. I'm sweating in the night. Mm -hmm. I lose my weight, lose my appetite mm -hmm. and extra. So I come back again to the, to the doctor at the clinic, at the same clinic. Mm -hmm. I told uh, I told him everything that I have been through, mm -hmm. and then the doctor uh, uh, say uh, after he was like checking me, mm -hmm. and then the doctor said, "Oh no, no, it's not problem at all. It just almost hit your lung again." Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, he gave me double doses from before did he ask you for an x to go for an x-ray again or no uh no at that time uh, he don't okay he didn't asking me for mm -hmm. any x-ray mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay so so you again went on the same medicines but 
double dose. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then, and for how long did this happen? Uh, it's about like uh, one and a half until two months after I take that mm -hmm. medicine. Mm -hmm. It's not better. It's getting worse mm -hmm. because at one day I was coughing a lot of blood. Mm -hmm. And then also blood was running from my nose mm. and I'm really shocked of it. And then um, we go to the doctor, to the clinic again and tell what happened. And the doctor is only like, um, uh, give me, the, I forgot the name of the medicine, but it's, uh, okay. it's uh, for, uh, for stop the bleeding. Bleeding, okay. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And because my dad is see there's no progress at all, mm -hmm. so my dad um, trying to um, add, um, trying to take me to the primary health center. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> honestly, at that time, uh, I was one of the person that didn't believe that. Um, the medicine from the primary health center is very good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. At that time. Uh -huh, uh -huh, yes. But I was wrong. Uh -huh. It was wrong. Mm -hmm. Because uh, um, in primary health care center, mm -hmm. now I know that they gonna, they, uh, they use the medicine for TB. It's very, very standard of WHO. Mm -hmm. So it's very good. Mm -hmm. So, yes, I go to the primary health care center and then I tell the, I tell the nurse there what happened uh, from 2008 until I'm coughing blood a lot of. And then uh, she gave me um, medicine for TB and also uh, the injection for uh, streptomycin because I already take the medicine of um, TB before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they did, they did, did they do any sputum test or any test here? At the yes. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, they also asked me for check the sputum to the um, uh, Persahabatan Hospital mm -hmm. because uh, I'm like a spy, uh, because they afraid that, uh, I mean, they have, I have uh, um, already uh, resistant. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they asked me for um, check sputum in Persahabatan. Mm -hmm. And yeah. And, and there, there you were finally diagnosed with drug resistant tuberculosis at the. Yeah. So this Persabatan mm -hmm. Hospital, this is a government hospital, is it? Yep, mm -hmm. it's a government hospital. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, and uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, no, no, that you continue, please. Yes. Oh, yes. okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Persabatan is the first, uh, the first and only at that time. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, a hospital, a government, a hospital that um, uh, uh, provide the MDR TB mm -hmm. drugs. Mm -hmm. And treatment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So then you then you were on treatment there. So were you ever admitted to the hospital or no? You did not have to be admitted there. Were you? Oh yeah, I have to. I have to go to the hospital every day because you cannot take mm. the medicine mm. home. Mm. So you have to back and forth every day mm. to the hospital. Mm. And. Uh, so, and then finally that was, then you were on treatment for how long? Two years or something like uh, that? Because my sputum is um, negative uh, from the first month I uh, okay. get the treatment. Okay. So I can finish my treatment about 20 months. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you've, that has been a very long and difficult journey, Paran. I, I can understand that. Mm. Do you think, because... As it is, you know, even in India, very often we don't have faith in the government uh, public health system and we feel mm -hmm. it is more cumbersome, difficult uh, to reach, timings are like that. And maybe that happened in your case as well. Mm -hmm. Whereas eventually it was the public health system which saved you. So uh, uh, 
what are the problems faced by the people in seeking and completing treatment, particularly for drug resistance TB and uh, drug sensitive TB also? What do you think mm. are the problems uh, that are still existing uh, at the community level or maybe there are some problems which have been overcome? What is your, uh, what does your experience say? Uh, from my experience mm. at that time, at 2008, mm. Um, I don't have any um, information about what is TB, mm. Mm. what is the symptom of TB, or how, if you had the symptom of TB, where you have to go mm. at that time. Right. It's very right. um, less information. Mm. But now, in the thousand, uh, now, nowadays, it's, you can get. You can get the information from the primary health care, mm. from the community, but still I, 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 but still I think that uh, TB awareness is have to be built more, more, and more. Mm. Mm. So yeah, so, so mm -hmm. is there yeah is there still stigma around TB in general public, and uh, as you're saying, there has to be more awareness. So. Mm -hmm. Is there a lot of stigma still and how to build that awareness? Yeah, um, actually I have the stigma at uh, when I was uh, MDR-TB hmm. treatment. But um, yes, I guess that's because they didn't know much more about MDR-TB hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. And I, yes now uh, some of my my passion is also still have stigma but the stigma is come from uh like family like the society around them yeah they have a lot of, uh, they have stigma happen still happen uh, from uh, my passion until now and I think by, by build the awareness, hmm. it can uh, break all the stigma and discrimination that happen around the TB patient. Hmm. Uh, what was the reaction yeah. of your family and friends at the time when you were under treatment? What was the reaction of your family hmm. members or your friends or your hmm. social circle? Well, at the first time I was diagnosed by MDR-TB, I take my dad to the hospital and to see the doctor I, mm. and ask for the doctor to explain uh, my condition to my dad at that time. Mm. So my family is very um, knowing about this, uh, this uh, uh, about my, my condition at that time. Mm. Um, but I still hide it from my, my friends. Mm my my best friends mm. uh i don't know i just feel like mm. i feel ashamed to have this i feel like i don't want to get um anyone infected by me so i like isolate myself mm. from my best friend and everything mm -hmm. when did you uh, when did you come mm -hmm. out openly with uh, your Later on, you said, now you are on a global platform and you are advocating yeah. for uh, a better uh, treatment and for other people. Yeah. Yes, yes. So that yeah. time, so that, time uh, that must have been a difficult time when you really shut yourself in, away from society, away from your friends during that yeah. time. Hmm? That must yeah. have been a difficult time, is it? It's really hard because, like, Honestly, every day I was every every night before I sleep, mm. I always pray, God, please take me. I cannot do. Uh, I cannot handle this anymore. Mm. This is too hard for me. So, but mm. yeah, yeah, but um, <laughs> you had maybe maybe because you had to be there to help other people. So why <laughs> God has sent you on this earth to help so many other people, <laughs> Paran. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, yeah, I think like that because it's very stressful when you get into 
the treatment of the um, the RTB mm. is very hard. Yeah. What what all were the what what all did you feel the side effects or what what all uh, physical uh, problems did you undergo at that time? You share. Uh, um, I I have a lot of su suggestion. Mm. Like uh, when I when I want to go to the uh, to the hospital to take my medicine, mm. I'm I felt very healthy mm. from home. Mm. But until uh, but when you already arrive, mm. only buying uh, by seeing the gate of the hospital, mm. it make you like afraid of something. Like you were wanted to meet a ghost. Mm. You're so afraid. Until you're sweating, and your heartbeat is more faster, and um, when you know the time mm -hmm. for you to take all those pills, mm -hmm. it's it's very horrible because I know every time uh, I I really really know what will happen when all those medicine was. Um, in my body, I know what will happen. That's why I feel so scared of it. And then uh, every night, I already switch off everything, mm. silence and and everything. But I still cannot sleep. As when every time I close my eyes, there will be like a running text mm. Mm. in my head, and I have to. I have to like um, use my cell phone to send all the um, the text messages in my head, mm -hmm. send to everyone I know on the, my um, my list, mm. my list phone. Yeah, something like that. It's uh, no, I think it's like it's crazy. Yes. So it was, but your family supported you. I think it was your family support that despite all the problems, you completed the treatment, which was, which was something very important to do. Did you at any stage feel like uh, quitting and just not taking any more medicines? Did that thought come to your mind? Yeah. At the, when I, um, in 18, mm. 18 months mm. of the treatment, mm. I feel so bored. Mm. I feel like oh, it's enough. Mm -hmm. I don't want to take any pills again because at the time I have to take like 15 pills. Mm -hmm. And I feel like um, I feel like a zombie mm -hmm. because you were alive but you are not alive. You cannot do anything after you take all those pills and, um, and uh, get all the side effect of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I become normal about like I'm having in the morning and around seven or eight in the in the night. I feel like normal people, mm. but where you can go mm. at that time, mm. you cannot go anywhere. Right, right. Yeah, I feel like um, my my life is very shut down. Mm. So yeah, I across moment to to stop the medicine. But once again, um, my family and also uh, friends from PETA mm -hmm. uh, support me all the time and also uh, and always motivate me. Mm -hmm. So they all always say, they always tell me um, why I have to complete the treatment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what make me. Yeah, even though I wanted to stop it, but I still going, 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 and until cured. So you had already joined PETA. You were already a member of PETA at that time, and that was uh, that was good. Or, no, 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 okay. no. Haven't okay. at at the treatment. Mm -hmm. I haven't okay. be the member of PETA. I was joined with PETA after I cured. Oh, okay, but but there mm -hmm. were there were members or your friends from there who were coming to you to help you complete the treatment. Is it no? Uh, excuse me. Sorry. No, when you, you were on treatment, when you were taking your medicines, you mm -hmm. you said there were people who were coming from your friends from Peta were there to help mm -hmm. you. So were they coming, or it was just your family who 
it made sure um, that you take the medicines. Uh, uh, I uh, I send the uh, like we were texting. Okay. Or okay. just once in a while, uh, we have a phone call. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. something like that. Mm -hmm. And were you still working? Did were you working for that period? Were you going to your place of work, or uh, you were absent from there? Then I'm completely absent because I can't. Mm -hmm. I cannot work right. with all right. of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so does anybody else in your family, God forbid, does anybody else have tu tuberculosis in the family? Thank God, until now, there is no one mm -hmm. that infected by tuberculosis oh. in my family. Yeah, thank God, yes. But they, yeah. did, they, did they test uh, the members of the family or no? They have not, have they taken any test? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. When I uh, when I go to the um, treatment, mm -hmm. uh, yes, they check. Okay, they check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, uh, Farad, what changes would you like to see uh, in the government program, at the government level, and at the community level uh, to, for a better TB control and to improve uh, treatment uh, completion, improve diagnosis? Mm, uh, for, yeah, for, first of all, I think for like the community and the environment of the society it's um to be awareness is very important mm -hmm. because from to be awareness um is to be itself mm -hmm. and then uh, um the one uh the most important thing is what I have thinking lately is about um, from uh, for the program uh, it's about like rehabilitation mm -hmm. after the treatment mm -hmm. because um, like me actually I've sometimes I feel very unconfident mm -hmm. I am feeling uh, I'm insecure if I um in the <clears throat> when I join with the other person but not having TB at all, mm. and then uh, some, including me and some of um former GR patient is also like having a rate mm. if uh, them their family member had TB mm. it must be come from us. Mm -hmm. some some kind of thinking like that mm -hmm. and then um, we are very hard to get job yes. mm -hmm. because of uh, a lot of uh, company is asking for medical checkup mm -hmm. and then the most important thing also it's uh, like I said uh, for the rehab mm -hmm. because um, I don't know, but I felt that we still had something from the side effect, mm -hmm. even we were have already cured. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We go to the treatment, we finish the treatment, mm -hmm. but we don't have anything to handle um, the rest of the side effect that still happened. That still uh, we we still have. Mm -hmm after the treatment after completing or uh, after cured the treatment uh, what type of side effect what? i mean like um it's like mentally okay. actually mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. mental right. health right right okay yeah uh -huh. yeah mental health because you know, like i said before mm -hmm. we had afraid mm -hmm. we had mm -hmm. like unconfidence mm -hmm. feeling insecure and extra and extra right yeah so uh, could you go I, back to your same job later on or you took up another job after uh, your mdrtb treatment was over did you go back to your earlier job uh no oh. uh no i i i can't i can't take my my old job oh. now i'm 
only work in PETA since 2014 until now. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So why didn't you go back to your job? Did you, you didn't, did not want to or? Uh, actually, not as healthy as before. Mm -hmm. And then I still afraid if um, mm -hmm. my, my friends or my boss mm -hmm. Knewing I was MDRTB then, mm -hmm. and if they had infected by TB, they were gonna blame me or something like that. I just too afraid of it. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. That is, those are the mental health issues you're talking of, and as you're saying, yeah. there has to be rehab programs for uh, yeah. patients. Yeah, that is important. Yes. Anything mm -hmm. else you would like to share, Paran? Uh, oh yeah for i think all the um all the minister of uh all have to join together because it's not only um uh, belong to ministry of health mm -hmm. but it's all one uh, one uh what we call it's we have to collaborate yes, yes, from yes, all yes. the minister mm -hmm. of workforce mm -hmm. to get involved in TB also, mm -hmm. okay. because it's like um, like if you are a student, mm -hmm. if you are a work, they have to get involved also because um, a lot of a few no a few of my passion have um, like. Uh, when they have still study, mm -hmm. they're really hard to study mm -hmm. because um, maybe the the place of their study didn't want the um, when the treatment still continue to study or something like that. And then um, for the work also, so I think we have a workforce mm -hmm. of the ministry to help uh, to 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 help all of this. Mm -hmm. Because it's not only belong to Ministry of Health. Right. Everyone Mini yeah, Ministry of Health is done a lot of things, but other ministries, uh, ministry has also have to get involved in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and also for the <clears throat> organization, uh, um, it's need a lot of, of uh, capacity. Mm -hmm like writing proposal advocate and something and 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 it's uh, hmm. and any kind of capacity building particularly related uh, related to resource mobilization yeah we need that hmm. 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 yeah hmm. as and, an organ and uh, most of the patients you are working with and your organization is helping uh, are they uh, young patients or what is the age group of the patients you are Oh, in my a uh, in my organization yes, in Peta. Yes, yes, in Peta. Uh, uh, the age is uh average uh from twenty until like me thirty seven, and we have also in forty. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. No, but the patients you are helping because you all are oh, helping other patients to be your yeah. treatment. So those mm -hmm. patients you are helping, what are they mostly youngsters or they come from different age groups or? Are, um are there any children also in that or yes we have uh, uh we have uh children also mm -hmm. it's about one year old mm -hmm. okay. and we also have young mm -hmm. and then we also the the old patient we yes we also have that so it's like um uh, from uh, every age from every age mm -hmm. <coughs> yeah and do you think that women uh, face more problems and troubles in seeking treatment of TB than men, or is it the same for all? What is what is your? Um, yes, uh, I think in Indonesia it's uh, uh, it's all the same for men or for women. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, just one last closing message you want to give to all of us, Paran. <laughs> Um, yes, I, I think for TB, we cannot just work alone. Okay. Right. 
we have to work together. We have to unite it to MTB. We have to building the awareness. And then we also have to um, like helping the former patient with their mental health issues. And then um, I really want um, I really want uh, there's gonna be TB survivor more that want to speak up and want to speak out. So yeah, we have to join uh, to finish all the TB problem. Yes, very well said, Paran. And thank you very much for being with us today. Friends, you were listening to Paran, an MDR TB survivor from Jakarta, uh, Indonesia. Yeah, and you have heard her story and it's really inspiring and it inspires all of us to be in this fight to end TB together. Thank you, Parat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Soba. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.